Hello guys and welcome to another Lead Code Christmas Edition tutorial. Now I'm going to show you how to solve a classic problem, meaning rooms 2, which is a problem that is usually solved using a minhip. But today I'm also going to show you a really cool technique, uh, which is called the line sweep algorithm to solve this problem as well. Let's consider the minhip solution first. And let's take the intervals from example number one, which by the way need to be sorted by start time. This example already has those sorted by start time. So how does our algorithm work? We're going to push into the min heap the end times of each of the meetings of each of the intervals. And then for the next intervals that we're going to analyze, we're going to check one important condition. If there is no overlap with previous meetings. Uh, if that's the case, if there is no overlap with previous meetings, it means that we can perform an evict action meaning that a previous room has become free and we can use it. So how does it look like? So for the first interval, by default, we push the end time as I stated before, which is 30. And then we start traversing the next intervals and we check if there is no overlap. In this case, while comparing the previous interval with 510, the current interval, we can see that there is overlap. Therefore, we cannot perform our evict action and we continue pushing the current end time, which is 10, but we'll see it at the top of the heap because it's in a smaller value. We go to the next interval, 1520, and we can see that in relation to the previous interval that sits at the top of the heap, there is no overlap. Therefore, we can perform our evict action, meaning that we no longer need this room and it has become available. We remove it from the top of the heap. We continue. We compare this interval with the one that is sitting at the top of the heap, and we can see that there is indeed an overlap with the interval at 0 30. Because there is an overlap, we cannot perform our big action. So at the end of comparing the current interval with all the intervals that came before it, we can push the end time for the currently analyzed interval, which is 20. This concludes the traversal of our intervals. And the size of the heap tells us the minimum number of rooms that represent the concurrent intervals that happen at the same time. So the minimum number of rooms that are required to fulfill all the meetings is two. Okie dokie then. Let's translate the previous logic into code. The first step, of course, is to sorting the intervals. We're going to sort by start time, as stated before. Let's continue by declaring the min heap that we will require. Let's add into our min heap the first in time value for the first interval. Let's put in place the loop that's going to traverse the next intervals, starting with the second one. Let's write a condition to evict the previous meeting if there is no overlap with the current meeting. Once eviction is done, we can push the current intervals end time into our main heap. So all the intervals have been processed as I stated before. The size of the mean heap will be the answer that represents the number of concurrent rooms that are required to fulfill all the meetings. So in that case, we just return it. And let's check if our solution works. Looks like it worked. Awesome. Now, there exists a better way of intuitively solving this problem that removes the logic of having to check the intervals overlapping. Uh, such technique, it's called the line sweep algorithm or line sweep technique, and I'll proceed to discuss it further right now. Now, imagine that we plot all the times in the intervals over a timeline like this. So for each of the intervals, we have a start time and an end time. 
So for each start time, we will add a plus one to the timeline in that specific time. And for each of the end times, we'll add a minus one at that specific time. So with that in mind, it would essentially look like this. For the first interval, we'd have for zero, then we add one. Then for 30, which is the end time for this one, we will place a minus one. For the next interval, we have five as the start time. We will add a one and we have 10 for the end time. So we'll add a minus one. For the final interval, we have 15 as the start time. We add a one and correspondingly for the end time, which is 20, we add a minus one. Now we can simply use our prefix sum to determine the point of maximum concurrency it's somewhere in the timeline. This maximum concurrency will be the minimum number of rooms needed to execute all the meetings. So that'll be something like this. The prefix sum is just the accumulation of the values in the timeline. So it will start with this one here. So this will be one. Then the next point we sum with this value and the previous one, this will be two. For the next value 10, will be 2 minus 1, 1. For the next value, 1 plus 1, 2. For the next value, 2 minus 1, 1. And for the last value, 1 minus 1, 0. So with this in mind, and this is the res result, we can easily determine that the minimum number of rooms that we require to execute all the meetings is two. So what does this look like in code? Uh, first of all, we're going to draw our timeline, but um, for that we'll need to use this constraint right here, which says that our timeline uh, goes from zero to 10 to the six. So the first thing that we'll need to do is define a constant here, I'll call it size, which will contain the maximum size for the timeline. Now let's put our timeline in place. I'm going to use a vector and all the times will be initialized to zero. Cool. Coming up next, we're going to iterate through the intervals and we're going to mark all the start times and end times in the timeline, like so. So the next step is going to be sweeping the line, the line sweep algorithm, so to speak. And we're going to keep track of a prefix sum. And um, the other variable, the other important variable is going to be the max concurrency at any point in the timeline, which is actually our answer. That will essentially tell us what is the minimum number of rooms required to fulfill all the meetings. So it's something like this. And finally, we just returned the minimum number of rooms that we discovered during line sweep. And let's see if this works. All right, it does. As you can see, the performance isn't the best and I can give a quick explanation what that is the case. It's because we're sweeping through the entire timeline of the size from one to 10 to the sixth. And one way in which that can be improved is using something like a hash map. I think I can uh, probably discuss this type of solution in the next video, but for now, I really hope this helped. This is a really popular algorithm that solves a lot of problems that we will see nowadays in interviews. And yeah, that's it. I hope it helps and uh, Merry Christmas. Goodbye to you all.